Hi, we're here with Mark Kudak from Nokia. And Mark just ran through a demonstration of a 5G prototype system that actually kind of uh, validated the, the fact that you could work at millimeter waves uh, frequencies at the 5G uh, data rates. Um, Mark, explain to us the significance of that demonstration and what, what you're really showing. Okay. So at Nokia, we're looking at the next generation of cellular 5G. We have some very aggressive goals for 5G, 10 gigabit peak rates, one millisecond latencies, um, and 100 megabit cell edge throughputs. Now, we know that there's going to be a 10,000 X capacity crunch by 2025. This, the demand for cellular keeps growing and growing. And so we know that we're going to have to start looking at frequencies higher than six gigahertz, all the way up to maybe 100 gigahertz to meet that capacity crunch. So at Nokia, we believe 5G will, will exist below six gigahertz. It'll also be, uh, exist above six gigahertz, up to 100 gigahertz. So we look at both centimeter wave, and millimeter wave technologies. And what we demonstrated here was perhaps at the high end, at 70 gigahertz, where we're looking at opportunities of large bandwidths, up to two gigahertz bandwidths, in small devices for small cell deployments, maybe 120 meter site-to-site -site deployments. This demonstrated that you can, you can deliver the 5G rates of 10 gigabits per second using millimeter wave technology with a two gigahertz bandwidth and two stream MIMO. Uh, and the demonstration you just did here, um, you used two beams and you put them close together. Um, can you talk a little bit about what that would really look like in real life? Okay. Our expectation is we're going to have massive MIMO for 5G. And the massive MIMO solution will look different at different frequencies. At the millimeter wave frequencies, we expect to see phased arrays up to maybe 32 elements at the base station that will form a very narrow beam to get that link gain to close that link budget. Um, I would expect that 5G millimeter wave systems would be built on top of small cell deployments with 120 meters site to site spacings, um, providing this high capacity and offload. 5G would integrate the below six gigahertz, the centimeter wave, and the millimeter wave technologies to act as one, as a multi-layer 5G solution. Now when you're operating at those millimeter wave frequencies, you've got a lot of problems with multi-pathing and obstacles and things absorbing and retransmitting and all that. Um, how do you overcome those obstacles? What kinds of tests do you have to do to allow for that? So Nokia has done several different proof of concepts at the millimeter wave band. Today you saw a 10 gigabit peak rate. Last year we'd done with a demonstration with a one gigahertz bandwidth. And in that case we were showing tracking using a dielectric lens antenna where we had a base station and a mobile device that that mobile device can acquire that base station when it was using a narrow three degree beam width and it could track it through the coverage area. These are some of the challenges you face operating at, at millimeter wave bands where you rely on these high gain antennas, but of course with a high gain antenna you have to have a narrow beam width. Um, to use National Instruments equipment in for part of your demonstration, can you kind of take us through what the, some of that stuff was? So we've implemented our millimeter wave technology on LabVIEW, LabVIEW FPGA, and the PXI platform to do our baseband processing. In this case, we've actually worked with, with, with NI to do some demonstrations with 70 gigahertz transceivers. Great, Great Mark. That's, that's really good. We really appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure.